should we jump back in oh, with yeah. Bertram riding Daiki forwards? Uh, yeah, why? The darkness of like, surrounding that you're holding like, us <laughs> Like any well thought out D&D plan, oh, everything's right. gone to shit and we're yep. charging. Yep. Yeah, we're charging forward, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. But yeah, you're holding this torch kind of behind you so it doesn't blind you uh, as you just and uh, charge forwards. Let me move you back over to the map. Yes. Hello. What uplifting music. It's so beautiful. You have a good soundtrack, this game. Thank you. It's delicious. I'm glad it could you be enjoy. Better. There we go, there it is. <laughs> I'm just well, saying. as someone that knows how hard it is to find a good soundtrack, like... With royalty yeah. free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with no, royalty free. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I feel All right. bad. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I'm still running forward. You guys should move yourselves up. Yep. Yeah. I am trailing. Uh, for for all in uh, in purpose, my hawk is on my shoulder so that I don't have to move it as well. All right. So if I got here, I would ask the witch where. If you were deeper in the game, I don't know where. Oh fuck. So against my instincts, I'm gonna go up this way. There's, there's nothing. There's no that's, that's, that's a wall. That's a wall. Oh, don't it's a wall. The wall. No. <laughs> don't go through the wall, Brennan. Gee. Okay. I'm sorry, the one that I went through the gate. Yeah, yeah, I um, didn't know. A question for sorry. you, Ruben. I, I didn't ask before, but this yeah. river, does it? Is there a traversable area, like, down and up it, that I could feed? Uh, up, it seems to get steeper and steeper, as if it, it just, like, falls down. It comes down, down off of my you head. Could, yeah. You could definitely walk down it. Okay. Or across it. It's just, like, ice. You just It's like a three-foot drop, drop, and then it's just ice. Yeah, so. Bertram's already gone. No, nope, I'm, I'm just falling up behind him then. Mm-hmm. Cool. You might have had a way better idea. I'm so sorry. No, no, I, it might have involved us getting trapped in ice water, so that's okay. Well, she uh, said stop, deeper. Stop, stop, yep. stop, 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 stop. I am stopped. Uh, roll me a perception check. Everybody who's in this area. Yeah, hey, hey. yeah, this works really well for me every time I do it, so. I'm everybody. My hawk has advantage. Yep. Um, farm by Phyllis. Well, I'm very focused on, like, Dikey's head, apparently. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and the rest of everybody. Uh, everybody, uh, except for uh, the person leading the pack, starts to hear these clunking of chains. And as you guys are making more noise now, they seem to be more aggressively being tugged. And uh, Jaron and Farnby start hearing this <sighs> from uh, up this oh, direction. Hmm. Do you want to investigate, team? Yes. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> Bertram, you're just like flooding forwards. I just point in that direction. Be careful. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm just going to charge up because I'm like, fuck you. I'm just going to kill some people. Okay. As you come into this area, you see a series of cages littering the ground. Some placed on tables, some large, uh, some containing dead animals. Um, you see there is a corpse of a dwarf against the leftmost wall. Um, lying against one of these cages built into the side. Guys, um, I, I apologize. I'm getting calls from a parent. I just need to make sure something's not wrong. Yeah. Okay, go run quickly. Um, I'll describe non-vital things. The cages are all filled with these little fluttering um, animals, so like as you as you enter, you're getting like squawked at by a series of chickens and rabbits and rats and foxes that are all trapped in varying sizes of cage. Um, in Within these uh, cages in the wall, uh, there seem to be dead bodies. There are actually two that are missing for some reason. I think Ooh. I might have moved them onto the... I'll, move, I'll put them down. Um, so you see in... You, only the living ones have shown up for some reason. There are two dead ones in the topmost and midmost uh, cages for that old dragon. Um, uh, missing... <laughs> God damn it. Hello? That's... Hello? Hello? Hello, <laughs> She pour a whole bottle bottle of water on you. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Shit's okay. so good. Here we go. Uh, there's only one that's missing, sorry. Let me let me get her. I Bye. found her accidentally, must have moved her somewhere else. Hey! Um, so yeah, the, in these cages, um, Jonathan, there are a series of uh, varying <laughs> sizes of animals. So there are foxes, rats, chickens being kept all live in these cages that are all sort of squawking and moving about. And you see... Um, a dead body of a dwarf on one side, as I said. You also see there is a what appears to be some sort of beast or humanoid monster that seems to be the source of the <sighs> and the rattling of chains. 
um, who is currently pressed up against the bars of the cage, just staring at you with wide eyes. Uh, I will make her icon really big. Oh, yeah, you can see her face, and Ew. just pressed up against the um, the side. And Bertram, you can make me a just make me a perception check to see if you can recognize this person through God. what happened to her, because she would have been one of the people from the town. Fourteen. Okay, you recognize that this is Assie, the um, the woman who came through uh, trying to investigate the mines in the town not long ago. Um, and and this dead dwarf uh, outside is her dwarven companion who was with her. But she's now just like... <sighs> watching you with like this hunger as drool like, drips from her chin. Um, in this other section up here... Uh, this is the Carl girl. If you remember the guy who was uh, trying to beat you up, but then you beat the fuck out of him, yeah, that's his. That's his daughter. She is mm. currently lying against the edge of the cage. Her eyes glassy. Her entire skin like conforming around her um, incredibly thin body, as if she's been starved to death. Mm. We should kill um, them. Hello. We should. Hello? Look around. Seems to be coming from this direction. Ref. Check. Yeah, I start sneaking around, uh, uh, rather <laughs> crawling over all the cages. And Is this reversible? Uh, yeah, you can, like, clamber over it. Yep, I will do that. <laughs> Hello? You see this small, maybe four, five-year-old oh. girl sort of like curled up in the corner. There appears to just be a skeleton lying uh, on the ground next to her. She seems to be just clothed in just rags. <laughs> Hello? Like, extends a hand up. I'm not gonna, like, give her my hand or anything like that. I just want to look down at her and, um... I know I don't have any light, but I just, I just kind of want to look her over and see if there's anything off about her. Okay. Pick me a perception or medicine check. Yeah, that's going to be perception. So okay. Um, you don't see, as you, as you look around, you don't see anything initially off with her, but you do see that in her cheek, there are these two needle-like pinpricks. Uh, seen those before. <laughs> Can you help me? God like tears are running down her face. Yeah, I say just loud enough to echo toward them. Little girl over here. She bears the mark. <sighs> Don't touch it. <sighs> Let's take care of the like threat. Then we can take care of the girl. The one near you, Bertram tries to like reach out and like grab at your face, but you just like move slightly backwards. Yeah, can yeah. I, yeah, can I burn this thing, Bertram? Yeah, I just move. Yeah, I'm just gonna firebolt it until this thing collapses. Yeah, you hit it in one and it just dies. <laughs> so nice. you, you like lose this energy, unleash it forwards, and it hits into this thing, and you watch as it goes, <laughs> and its entire, like the flesh on its face begin to sear away, exposing bone, still reaching forwards until it just falls, slumping to the ground, just the se smell of cooking and searing flesh against the ground. You start hearing, <laughs> in your mind I hate this bitch let's get this over with Fonby right. is like wide eyed and just like pressed up against the back wall right now we've got to kill hey. them all I the the girl ref she's tainted look yeah I make room for uh, Bertram and if if Farnby comes the She's just a girl, Ref. We could, we could get her back to Fellow Half. Don't be stupid. She'd get treated. Yeah, I'd look over at Farmy. Don't be stupid. You, you do realize that if these things, these things created the plague, if we bring her back there, there's no telling. What His eyes move over to you, Bertram. I just look at him. 
Hi. Do, you a, do you want to be a warden or what? I thought you were a hero. I won't. I won't be in a part. I won't be a part of this. Killing a girl. She still has her senses about her. It's I'll like help I... her. I'll get her back to town. Hold on. Dude. Find me. What if... I look towards Ref and Bertram. We deal with the bigger threat. Then I can use my abilities to see if there's anything... magical or off about her. And then we can decide from there. You want to just leave her here? Scared? If we, if we take her without investigating, we could be dooming ourselves, Fong. Then go, fuck off. I'll stay. I'm not leaving her alone. In the dark. Who knows how long she's been here. Then promise me you won't touch her. Of course. I'll leave her. I'll just chat with her from the other side. I don't like this. Does Farnby have any shackles of any kind? Um, no, definitely not. Mm. God damn it, I don't have any either. I mean, I assume there's... Are there any shackles in this room or are there just cages? Uh, the, the cage... So this one has a shackle to the wall. This one has shackles to the wall. And this one has shackles to the wall. Yeah. All of their legs seem to have been shackled, including the little girls. Yeah, I don't want to touch her, so never mind. Mm. Right. Well, zombie. If we all die because you weren't shooting your bow, I'm you. I'm going to start walking my way. <laughs> God yeah, damn. I'm going to... I'd rather die than kill a... No, yeah. I'm sorry. He like, looks over at the girl in the cage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch Jaren go and just slowly shake my head and walk over to, to, to Farnby. I'll no, I was in. actually returning as soon as he was saying that. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, he's gonna put a hand on his shoulder. She has been here for a time. And she'll be here a little longer. Whether we want her to be or not. Help us deal with the thing that made her this way. And then you can help her. You want to leave her alone? In a place like this? She's been any alone. amount of time. Roll me a persuasion check. We are wasting time. Yeah, I know. Yes! I know, uh... Just kill her! <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling it'd go that way. Mm. If you... If you ever know... What it's like to feel abandoned, especially in a face like this, if all hope is lost. I'm staying. I'm sorry, Ref. I'm staying. Know what it feels like to be abandoned. Uh, Jaren, you'd, you'd notice that I'm uh, pulling one of my scimitars slowly out of a sheath on my back. Bertram couldn't because he's in front of me. And I'm just, I have this wicked look on my face looking at Farnby. Yeah, I definitely step up and just place a hand on the sheath. Like on Rev. on my hand? Like, or, yeah, sorry. like to, to stop it. Yeah, of course. Have you, have you all lost your senses? Just because everything's desperate doesn't mean we need to lose who we are. No, but we need to deal with the thing that is influencing this first. If we let her go, that thing, we don't know what could happen. At least if we kill it first, then we know that it can't have any more influence on her. So let's go kill it. Jaren, if you want, you can roll me a persuasion with disadvantage, because Ref already felt yeah. one. Well, let's go. Yeah. I've begun walking away at this point. Mm -hmm. 14. <sighs> Fuck. Looks over at you, Bertram. Yeah, I'm just looking at him, not saying anything, just staring at him. Looks back at the girl. 
I'm sorry. We'll be back. It won't be long. And he just places a torch on the ground, like at his feet, and starts walking away too. Let's be off. Yeah, I just, I'll like walk behind Farnby, not really saying anything. And then once we get, you know, a decent way in, I just, I'll make sure you get Warden. And I don't want to say anything else to him. Sorry, your voice lagged for me, so I didn't get that. Uh, so. I'll make sure that you get Warden. I just... I just want to get out of here, Bertram. Let's do the right thing. Yeah. You may... You may not get out of here. You know, And that's what, that's what this is about. If I do... Get the girl to fat or half. If it, I, get her checked before you do anything. What do you think? I'm eager to kill a little girl. You're right. Okay. And you guys continue on. Bertram, if you would take lead. Right. And yeah, just run up. Yep. Which way you she said further down, so she said deeper. The yeah, way. both both the way down the ice river and the way down this way slope down a bit. Yeah. So, um, Bertram, you fell off of your mount. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, no, he's traveling alone. Yeah, help me. He's gone wild. <laughs> yeah, you see, um, as you approach this area, you see tables with odd-looking implements. These thin syringes filled with strange liquid, viscous blood coating the floor, some fingers just severed lying on tables, and various tools that look like they are, you know, those like hooks that Egyptians used for like pulling the brain out of the nose and that sort of thing. Mm. Stuff like that lying across the table. Nice. Nothing to see here. She's run to my room. <laughs> yeah, just kind of like look at it and laugh. No, oh, is this a dead end? That's a dead end too. Yeah. Then as far as you can tell, it's just back. the way. The river then. Can I try and um? Yeah, never mind. There's no scorch marks that are reminiscent of a pass wall, are there? No. Okay, cool. To the river. Right. Yeah, and I'll use my 50 feet of movement to get in front of everybody. Yep. Everybody yeah. starts slowly inching forwards. You yeah, guys at this point, at this point, I'm just like there. very, very focused. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would, I would, shit. If I'm there to see him get on the frozen lake. I'd utter yeah. a word of like he just hops down and just you hear like the nice, but nothing beyond that. And Farmy slowly like lowers himself down and like steps on it lightly with his feet before oh, putting his full weight on. And that yeah, I'll use Ray of Frost to like seal cracks and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna flop down. Okay, cool. Yeah, all of you get onto the river. Hey, look, scaly bones. Hell yeah. It's uh, Ref, you see another one, a uh, similar one, but full humanoid size this time of one of those corpses that are mostly rotted and bone that you yeah. tread, uh, tread in earlier. Yeah. So this is a waterfall? Uh, it seems to be, but completely flash frozen. You can walk down it. It's more like rapids than waterfall that's just completely flash frozen. Yeah, we'll just keep yeah, going. It's difficult, and Daiki's moving slowly to not slip, but... Bertram just fell off, so... <laughs> <laughs> Bertram, Bertram keeps falling off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bertram's yeah. drunk. Yeah, it's not when is he cool. not drunk, though? To be slowly, honest, no, slowly right. making your way down precariously, uh, sometimes slipping on your feet, but managing to regather your footing. Farnby's like keeping, uh, tracing the wall one hand against it as he moves across the ice. What's this red thing over down here? Uh, you don't know because you're ten feet below it right now. That's what I thought. Okay. But yeah, so you can't move up there. You're like uh, looking up, Bertram. You could probably, from Daiki, like you get your hands just on the like lip and pull yourself up. 
Okay. Uh, you could probably do that without a check too, because you're pretty decent athletics. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you see what appears to be a black hole with blood stained around it. Uh, it seems to have spikes uh, jabbing uh, jamming out like that. Mm -hmm. You can't tell um, what it's used for. What is this? I see. You're not making sense. Stupid. A sacrifice of blood, meat, living. Kind of like turn around and look. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, you like peer down the ledge at the other two who are looking up at you. What no, the other that? three. Sorry. Yeah. What is? We need blood. Living. <laughs> oh. Living. Sounds like you, uh, stick your hand in and... Not so sure. Uh, Bertram, you do see that the wall... One second. The wall here... Mm -hmm. uh, ...has just the same black and scorch marks against it that you saw on the wall to the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll point that out to, uh, Jaren. Yep. Most like you activate that key and the door fades. It's a sacrifice. Not blood. Did you ever tell us that it meant it said that the thing said living blood? No. Yeah, he said he, he you said living. He said they required. Yeah, yeah I said blood. living once, yeah. I don't think it requires you to die. I just think it requires you to sacrifice part of yourself. I don't know. I'll send my bird up there to get a better look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see the same thing as um, Bertram. Now that you're up there, you can see the same like jagged spikes uh, sticking through this hole. It looks to be about three feet deep. Bertram's like three, holding oh, his Oh, three feet. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There was another path. We can check it. Right. Ref, Jaren, go look. I'll uh, get back down on Daiki. You said it's three feet, so I know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I know where you're going to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Just, Ref just and Jaren, go back. Just exploring mm -hmm. the path. Yep, you guys go up. Nothing shady here. Nope. Nothing shady at all. So yeah, you clamber up up onto this ledge and start heading down this sort of yep. musty path. The smell of this like rot and blood and uh, fecal matter fading as you start to get further away from it, replaced with this, just the smell of stale uh, stone. There's a slight incline to the path as you follow it, and the rough stone walls again with this sort of like rotted, porous appearance to it as you head down. Um, you start seeing runes uh, inscribed on the wall. They look rough and scratchy. Are they of a magical nature? Uh, you can roll me an arcana. Yeah. 23. Okay. They are written in uh, a language you don't understand, but they don't appear the like rough and scratchiness of them. Um, at very least, you uh, assume they aren't ar arcane, and you try a series of things like... Uh, you get your hawk to press up against one, you throw a stone at one, and they don't seem to activate in any way. Okay, yep, then I won't say anything and I'll keep moving. Mm -hmm. Swiggity, swiggity. Right. Yeah, the, yeah, the these sketch et etchings get more and more... <laughs> Running <laughs> down the path. <laughs> as you go down the path. Um, Ref, you start to make out this sort of, like, rising out of the ground at uh, the far end of this that seems to form into almost a podium, uh, top which isn't a, like, glowing... Uh, blue hammer, but appears to be a Damn. large, uh, human-sized brass skull. Oh! Resting on the podium. 
very Indiana Jones-esque. Yeah. Not to say that if you grab it, a giant boulder will come rolling Shh, at you. Don't but dash you're, not say, you're not saying that it won't. <laughs> you're not saying that it won't. You are correct. God damn it. You ever seen anything like this? Have I ever seen anything like this? Um, You probably haven't, but it looks to be of the same sort of ilk of craftsmanship as your necklace. Like, it, the brass is the same, the sort of, like, uh, lines are the same. There are a couple of, like, sigils across it that uh, are reminiscent to the one sigil that's on the chin of your uh, necklace. Um, has the armor disappeared by now? Uh, it stays for an hour, right? It stays for ten minutes. Ten minutes? Then, yeah, it would have disappeared by now. Protection from schmutz. Uh, I just look over. I can tell you exactly what it is, but... I wouldn't be able to protect you or anyone else uh, when the fight starts. What do you mean? I can identify it. I assume it's of a magical nature. I just kind of pull out the necklace and gesture towards it. Why don't we bring it back? See if we can. You want to take it or shall I? I want to look around to see if it's uh, trapped by any means. Okay, roll an investigation check. Yep. Good thing to check. Investigation seven. I detect all of the traps. Oh my god. As far as you can tell, it does not appear to be trapped. I will go to pick it up. I love those okay. words. You go to pick it up and lift it off its podium and you hear a... No, you don't. <laughs> you lift it up and it does not appear to be trapped. Uh, you pick it up, nothing seems to happen, you like, listen out. Spin the skull around. Uh, roll me a d6. Just the d6. Thank god. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh -oh. Okay, so, uh, across the skull, there are six gems. Two in its eyes, one at the back of its throat and its mouth, one on top of its head, and two on the sides of its head. Um, five of which seem to have held their luster, one in the eye seems to have um, almost darkened or grown foggy like a quartz. The rest seem to be clear and seem to be reflecting uh, any light that's Pretty. around. Huh. I you would know, miss. you you would, you as a, like, arcane, like, uh, some with arcane knowledge, uh, having spent a lot of time underground with, uh, you know, certain groups of people, um, would yeah. be able to recognize that these are basically represent charges. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would need time to figure out what it does, but it's more than likely useful. Well, let's go back and we can take that time. Sure. I'm gonna start walking back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does anything assail us on our way back to Bertram? No. <laughs> You're not the demon. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can just dash across the to the other side of you. Okay, I was at or I, I, was, I was I was curious yeah. about it. That's, you, can, you can do that. Nothing will assail you. Everyone yeah, can walk through walls. While you're waiting, you're just hearing, We're close. She knows where. Hurry up. Make the sacrifice. Open the wall. Right. We found this. I just hold up the skull. I'd need an hour or so to figure out what it is. Also, uh, the protection I hope to give you, it's run off by now. I would need, I would need a day to be able to do it again. I can feel that. So, until then, this is a mystery. Like I said, I need an hour for it. Yeah, I've been staring at this, uh, at this thing. Yeah. This three foot thing. And <laughs> at, at this point, like, probably Farnby has seen me drink a considerable amount. Yeah. I can wait an hour, but I'm not leaving that go in for a day. <sighs> I'm not putting that girl in there either. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't know what he was thinking of. <laughs> no. Oh, I knew it was, I knew it was one of the two. Yeah, um, well, if you want me to I just lift the skull, I'll get to it. Right. Yeah, I set it down and I begin ritual casting identify. Yeah, and... 
<laughs> also, it takes uh, 10 minutes to ritual cast identify, I think. No. Uh, an, hour. an hour and 10 minutes. Yep. Oh, an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, so um, I know that I would be spending time drinking the rest of the wineskin throughout mm-hmm. the hour, just staring at the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just sitting atop Daiki. Fomby's like, like fidgeting the entire time. Like his foot is like tapping into the ice until I'm assuming like Bertram's just like stop. It. Yeah, stop. Uh, I wanna, I wanna kind of give it a look over. Do I get the idea that it is entirely magical in nature, or does it maybe have some mechanical um, notation or significance? Roll me an arcana. Okay. And that's that's this, right? Wait, you're trying you're trying to look over this, this thing. Yes. You'll have to make me an athletic check to climb up. Okay. Yep. I, I have probably okay. had you climb up, arms, but yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna climb up quickly. Probably probably jump most of the way and then climb mm-hmm. the rest quickly. Yeah, I'll get up there and yeah, I want to look it over. Arcana. Yeah, roll me an Arcana. Ah. You can't tell. It seems like whoever made this must have. Uh, if they, they, if there are any actual runes inscribed on it, they are well hidden mm-hmm. and probably on the inside somewhere in the mechanism. Uh, so you can't tell if it's got any arcane uh, component to it or if it's entirely mechanical. Okay. And so it, it just looks like a barrier of almost teeth. That's uh, not a barrier. There's like a gap in between them. I was just showing like the that to show like their like height in proportion to I each other understand. then there is there's like a gap in the middle and they're just like sticking out I of the wall i understand what you're saying in the three feet yeah and there's those circular holes that they seem to come out of hmm. um at some point uh ref if you were looking at me while i'm messing with the skull totally. um perhaps you and um perhaps you should go check on the girl and when I do so, just so where you can see it, but no one else can, I just point at you. I'm just kind of hoping you get it. I can, I can go. I'll make sure she's all right. A ref's oh, I, I, at you. I was meaning that to be an aside, but okay. Um, oh, oh, oh! You would like take him aside to one side and like muster that to him? Okay. Yeah, or if he was close to me, I would have just said it where he could hear it, if that's okay. possible. Okay. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, and I'm just I'm pointing as I'm saying it and just kind of giving you the mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I cock my head to you and Yeah. I suppose. Hmm, I'm gonna start to uh, walk just a little ways back the way we came. Um, I feel when Jaren's chaotic good. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I just said that feel when Jaren is chaotic good. <laughs> uh, Somehow. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna... Um, but I'm a little, little ways away, but not too far that anyone couldn't necessarily see me, more that I'm just kind of out of the way. I'm gonna yep. subtly try to point to Jaren and um, cast a message and say yep. uh, do you mean for me to kill her or bring her back neither the shackles I didn't see a key for the shackles hmm was an idea. I don't know what Bertrand's planning, but I know I can't stop him from doing it. Bertrand will do what Bertrand does, but... We might be able to find a way. But no, I think killing her is a surefire way to set Farmby off. He might even attack us. Who knows? Not now. She wasn't the only one in that room. She was the only live one. Is that true, Reuben? She was the only live one remaining. Uh, there's a bunch of live animals. Oh. Animals. Yeah, of course. I don't know if that'll do the trick. It's worth a shot. Um. 
Hmm. Allow me to try some things first. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I will try just a couple things with this thing. And just to make sure I, I heard what I heard is what I remember um, from you, Ruben. But it's like a three foot deep hole with... Yeah. Yeah, with what looks like sort of... It's probably about mm -hmm. one foot in, like, it's like a one foot square that's three foot deep. Yeah. So one foot by one foot by three feet. For all the yeah. axes. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So, while you're working your way back up there, I... Wait, uh, Bertram, could you ask that thing if an animal would do? Yeah, I just kind of shrug, like she hears. Something living would need to push the bottom. Something alive, yes. Well then, there were animals back there. Could use that. Right. Fetch one. I'm like, studying the skull, casting my spell. I, uh... Well... Yep. I'll start trudging back thoroughly, uh, the whole way. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'm gonna look for so so. We'll, well, first of all, um, describe what the bottom of that hole looked like again. I'm sorry. Uh, it just looks like a completely flat stone. It almost looks just like a paving stone at the bottom. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll go back and I will gather up a couple of creatures. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you like get a, like a pile of three cages: one with a fox, one with a chicken, one with a rabbit. Perfect. Perfect. That'll do. Yep. Uh, yeah. Can you bring the three cages back? Bring them back. Lay them on the lay them on the ice. I'll start with the rabbit. I okay. Yeah, yeah. So you open up the cage. The rabbit like tries to bolt, but you grab it by the ears and like mm. hold it by its stomach to Actually, try and stop it from it's, jumping. It's, it's mean. I toss the cage up on top of the the platform and then climb up mm. after it. But yeah, then I yeah. do exactly as you say. Yeah, it's super smooth. Yep. And I want to. I want to try calming it down just a little bit, like not enough to where it sees me as a friend, maybe, but just enough to where it may not immediately bolt. Like I take out a, God, I yeah, probably yeah. don't even have food on me, do I? Um, shit. I <laughs> you had some 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 good uh, I huck. Definitely you have some huck some huck steak. steak. I don't know if we kept any huck steak. I mean, it would be a waste to leave that much behind and get an hour, so you could definitely have some Huck steak. I'll say instead of the, the rations that my Explorers pack assumes, I've got some Huck on me. Um, okay. You've <laughs> got some nice. Huck on me. Uh, well, I'll the meat to the rabbit. Yeah, rab rabbit's not going not gonna to go for that. The fox will. Um, mm -hmm. But I think for the rabbit, I'll just try to, like, if I've got, like, a, a dried fruit in one of my rations, I'll just take a piece okay. out, maybe. Roll me an animal handling check. Okay. Fun times twelve. Okay, so Try as to get you it hooked on it, basically, yeah. As you like hold that, um, the rabbit like seems to, while it's kicking and and that sort of thing, you hold this in front of it and its head seems to follow it for a moment yeah. and then just bite down and actually bites into your finger. A bit of blood starts to seep seep out, take like one piercing damage. That's as it seems to like start nibbling at the finger. Oh fuck. Uh, wow. This thing's got a pretty tensile neck. Yeah, so I'm gonna rip my hand away. Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, ah. Shit. <sighs> and I'm going to just... Really kind of angry. Uh, uh, try to have the rabbit as close to the opening as I can in the hole and just drop it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it likes feet kick, so you have to like basically uh, push it. its yeah yeah push its like waist down yep. uh, until it gets in the hole, yeah. and it like hits the bottom. The mechanism doesn't seem to activate. It's about half a foot. It tries to like jump out of the hole. Doesn't seem to work for it. Push. Why did you just say push? Push. Push. Okay. Um. Could I see your lance? Sure. Yeah, I'd just hand it to him. Mm. Yeah, like, while we're both holding it, because you could probably, like, we could be both holding it while I'm up on the platform. Do you need it back? Whatever. Not my head. Take the lance. 
and uh, I'm going to uh, try to, as though it were a cannon rod, shove it down the <laughs> hole. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so, yes, as you do so, you do that, and it hits into the rabbit, slamming it into the plate. As you feel the force of the, the plate at the bottom moving down, the spikes just go, Ching! I'd like you to roll me a dexterity check, first off. See if I can get the lance back? Yeah, to see if the lance is damaged at all. Nice. Oh, I was expecting it to be destroyed no matter what, but so this is a boon. Mm -hmm. Nice! 23! Hey. Nice. Yeah, so as, as these go... Since the lance uh, uh, towards its tip starts to narrow, uh, it hits the uh, like edge of the lance, and because it's circular shape, pushes it to one side. As the spikes go directly into the uh, rabbit's flesh, blood starts seeping down, and you start hearing as the um, entire stone wall begins to almost disintegrate down to rubble oh, wow. uh, in front of you. And I will expose the passageway. Looks like the sacrifice was a small price to pay. In this and oh. at this point in time, yeah. like after a minute, your ritual will be finished. Nice. Yeah. Karen. Uh, how are you getting Daiki up the 10 Just, feet? Oh, is it up? One, one, yeah, it's 10 feet Please. up. No, I'm not going to do that. Wait okay. just a moment. I'm almost done. No, we gotta go now. Now. And you, when you find out, you will find out that this functions as a necklace of fireballs. Ha! Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> gay uh, fireball. Drag out. Flaming yeah. gay. No, you're gonna, fantastic. if you're looking at me, you're gonna see my face look concerned and then excited. And then... A very, very happy grin kind of just creeps on Jiren's face. Oh, oh we're going to have a lot of you. Let's go. So yes, you if you, uh, basically you expend one bead as an action, you can cast the fireball. If you expend more than one bead, it will basically up the level of the fireball by one for each extra bead you consume. Okay. So you could consume all five and cast that as a... I don't know how many beads can you at take. Eighth <laughs> level, as a as a seventh <laughs> level fireball, if you wanted to, if you wanted to blow your load all at once. <laughs> and I, it has five, you said. Yes. Okay. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, the good news is that if I'm using this, I can throw this at. Well, it won't hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Farnby. Farnby is going to make an athletics check to try and climb the wall. No. Anybody who's already gotten up. Oh, hell yeah. Farnby is determined. Oh, uh, I can. I mean, I, I have the Farnby, land, so Farnby, I can use Farnby. that to help people up. You've already gotten up, Ref. Uh, yeah. Bertram jumped off of Daiki. Bertram I'm not a very good climber. I've got a bad leg. Uh, if you so use the lance, um, so Ref, to try and like, pull Jaren up. Jaren, you can make the athletics with advantage. Cool. Yeah, I don't need the lance at this point. Yeah, so. easily pulled up. Daiki, like, looks up at you guys. It's head, like, a couple of feet lower than the, uh, than the lip. Lovely. It's alright. Oi. We'll be back. I hope. Yeah. We'll be back. Aye. I hope we will. Move forwards very slowly here, please. I'm gonna wait for Ref to get in front of me. Yeah, Ref, you don't need to make a roll because you already made it up. Yep, yep, yep. So, yes, you guys start slowly encroaching. Mm -hmm. And you see, as you start moving forwards, this path begins to open up into a larger chamber. This place is coated with ice across the floor. Damn. Even the walls are beginning to be frosted, almost like the inside of a snow globe. Yeah. Um, around the place, uh, Bertram, as you start moving forwards, you start seeing these odd uh, tables with odd implements, and you see a woman clad entirely in black, a large black hat atop her head, a sickle hanging out a belt at her side, mm. seemingly... Stirring or concocting oh. something. 
Those boobs, though. Nice. <laughs> nice side boob. What a man. <laughs> Isn't of you to arrive. You were waiting up there for quite a while. Just staring this uh, cauldron in front of her. You see the dead bodies of two girls lying across two of the tables. Right, we weren't waiting for an introduction, were we? And I want to throw a fireball at her. Okay. Uh, it will not be a surprise, but you will get this off before anybody else can act. Single fireball? Yep. Okay. That's six. What, a, what an initiative. Um, what an A seven. initiative. Uh, regular fireball, 66, right? Eight. Um, 8d6, I think. 8d6. Does fireball increase by 2d6 per extra level? Just, just drag it into your character sheet. Oh, uh, okay. That's better. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be easier. Because you can use it a few times, so. It increases by 1d6 for level Yeah, one. sadly. It's just, it's just basically the good thing is you can just save using all your actions to do this. Yeah, it's 1d6, yeah. 8d6 fire damage, half as much on a save. Blow the whole skull. Do 13d6 damage. 8d6. Lego. All right, boys. Not all of us might walk away from this. And this, this, uh, this being is maybe nine foot tall. Oh, nice. Uh, Normal. Twenty-eight. Okay. Ref doesn't uh, like gets... him tall, so. Well. She gets advantage on the save versus this. Oh, but it's a dexterity I, save. I got seventeen initiative. Okay, dexterity save, twenty-two. So she'll take half. She'll so take she fourteen fire. Yep. Okay, uh, I will roll her initiative. And I will roll Fonby's initiative. Oh my god, she's so good! I'm Boy. going to roll my initiative, but then I'm going to change it to the 17 that I rolled. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, well, that's shit. <laughs> I'm going to keep my new initiative. Um, nope. 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 Disagree. Are you sure? Get covered yep. in semen. Can you move my hawk over here, plus? Evil. Yes, I will. I'm just rolling around all the NPCs. Okay, now I can move the hawk. This is an evil fight. This is bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't like this man. This bad evil news. man. I'm not happy with this fight, boys. Uh, I am. You guys both. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, like, bruh, why not? <laughs> um, okay. Because I have to play Fomby as well. I'm as much on your guys' side as the bad guys, right? That's the beauty. So that works. Adna. Hawk. Adna. Hawk. I'll say the hawk is on you can see the hawk is on your shoulder, it's back here. Rubbish. Nice. Twenty three. <laughs> Holy goddamn. She's I'm not so going upset. first. Look at that oh, birch room. Yeah. Look at that birch room four right there. <laughs> Look at that birdie. You never rolled well on initiative. I never. Right. Your guys' turn. What'd you yeah. like to do? Baka. Going to assist uh big boys, um, Going to assist uh, Bertram. Nice. Okay. Um, assist Bertram in hitting her. Yeah, this hawk like flies towards her. She doesn't even move as the hawk beams like circling around her head. She just shifts, turning towards you as flame starts licking off of her black robes. Her arms start to grow wreathed in shadow as she extends an arm, and out of the ice rises just this gnarled wooden branch that she uh, grabs in one hand. The as she as she grabs it, she begins to float a couple of feet off of the ground. Oh my god! And it's time for the big opener, boys. Ow! Uh -oh. We should have spread out. Um, yeah. Hey, big opener, big opener, sixty foot cone, you say? Oh no! Oh, I know what she's. It's not going to hit your hawk, but it's going to hit all of you guys. Uh, I know what this spell is. As she casts cone of cold. I would like everybody to make me a what type of save is going to be? Wisdom save, Bertram. I Get believe wrecked. it's Constitution. I will double check that on you. Uh, uh, it is a Constitution saving throw, please. I am probably dead, by the way. No, are you kidding me, Bertram? I'm profatient in this. Okay, uh, Fawn B has to make it as well. Why do I keep closing Fawn B's sheet? This is gonna go very well. So, this is how much damage you'll take if you fail the save, which Bertram and Jaren did. I'm dead. Um, I'm calling it. Thornby did too, so all of you oh, will right. take 45 cold damage. Oh my fucking god. What? <laughs> Holy Jaraxxus. There's That's the ouch. Well, I, uh, 
I'm not outright killed. I stand so back up at on one, one HP. HP. Yep. Um, I, I, by the way, I was one point away from being outright killed. Okay. I had Good. a feeling about those. <laughs> Okay, yeah. As as she, one second. Um, Ruben, how, who made you like this? How are we, <laughs> how are we supposed to win? So uh, she takes. So as uh, as she like raises her hands forward, she takes a uh, a, gra a handful of bones out of a side pouch, crushing it in her hand. The powderized um, dust forming from it, the bone meal for just from her pure strength, uh, seems to just completely vaporize it as she throws it into the air the room begins to settle as the bone dust seems to sparkle like ice and then shoots forwards blasting into you like the uh like an incredible wind is hitting you as these fragments of bone and ice just start searing and slashing into your skin there we go we're fucking dead dude oh my god and she's yeah she's just floating three feet off the ground <laughs> That is her turn. Mm. He's floating Jaren. three feet off the ground, you say. Right. Um, not dead. <laughs> everyone remembers where she was. Yes, Bombi good. is down, but is not dead. So I'll give him... He's not outright killed, so I'll give him a sleepy boy icon. There we go. Continue. Everyone knows where she is. Good. Now she's not going to see us, and I cast Fog, though. Okay. Um, I will cast that somewhere in this area to obscure, to obscure us. Okay, cool. Uh, this is not... Shit. It's not a good bail. <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys... What are you saying? We're dead. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't like this. <laughs> Alright, how's that? that we is, haven't even done anything yet, and I am good. almost a dead boy. I'm cool. going to hop on over here. Okay. Uh, well, I don't mean to fuck you. Wasn't your action this turn to throw a fireball? No. No, no, that was pre-fight. Okay, sorry. I, 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 did, I didn't think it was surprise. All right. It's it's not it's not surprise, but she was basically, like, giving you a free hit. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Like, like when someone like when someone takes the first punch and they punch you in the face and you barely move and then like you respond with your own punch sort of thing. I understand. It was like fireball, then cone of cold sort of move. Got it. Yeah. All right. This should be interesting. Uh, Mister. It's all right, Brandon. She can only use cone of cold once per Monsieur day. Monsieur Farnsby. Uh, that's your turn to cast that and move. Farnby Phyllis is unconscious, so I will make... Uh, he doesn't make death saves. He's just going to die in three rounds. I just assume that he, uh, any NPC companions fail death saves automatically, so he'll just die in three rounds. Ref, you just are encapsulated in this smoke that um, yeah. your brother has created. A small, slight orange glow at the center where the sort of furnace fire is burning from within. Huh. Fuck it. Um... Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, God damn, this is not a good idea, but it's the only idea. I think first of all, I'm in a second wind because that's just a good idea. Um, <laughs> give me one second. The music stops. Let me help myself here. The music stopped. For myself. Not for me. Yep. I, okay. Don't worry about I, I'll, I'll. Well, you're the stream boy, so I'll stop it and start it. No, I'm. Appreciate it. Okay. okay. Danke. Yeah. Yep. Seven. All right. Nice. So that's your bonus action. You take that's a my bonus. second. You're, you're just like your your boat. Your very like flesh feels like it's frozen solid. So you just take a while to like hold your chest, breathe out as your as this icy breath forms in front of you. <sighs> I just I realized a thing that I could do. Um. So, did I would would I have been able to see what this is here? Uh, yes, that seems to be a frozen, just completely flat pool of ice. Is there a small uh, decline? Yes, it's about two okay. feet. Decline. I would like to take the hide action. Okay. And uh, so I'm gonna roll me stealth, stealth as your full action. No, seventeen, not bad. And then I am going to uh, go up here, hug the wall, and start going around. And I'd like to dip down here and okay. crouch, 
then basically the way I'm obscuring You're myself so from her. I'm uh would I have to be prone to obscure myself it's from her? It's two feet. Two feet? Yes. Okay. Two That's... feet is like up to your knee, so you kind of have to almost just be lying down so that she I understand. See you. Uh yeah, so yeah. if I'm here if I so you can slip from the fog and then like like crawl down. Could I get to here? I yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to get to there. Because then I might um would I would I be able to get away with just crouching if I'm there? Okay. Is that possible? Okay. Is that is, is that would she does she see me? It takes half your movement to get up from prone is the thing. That's the so you'd you'd have to get prone to to hide realistically. Oh, here. I know what you're saying. I'll stay prone. I, I'll stay prone, prone and then, I, yeah. I'll stay prone and I'll stay yeah. there. Then that gives me the best. Okay, thing. and that's me. That's okay, me. That's cool. me. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just like to get up from prone after. I understand completely. I understand so, completely. Yeah. Yep. Bertram, you. All right. This foot. Uh, you just got hit by this, and your like entire body is shuddering. Your bones seem to like just ache with age and with cold. I'm going to uh, second win. <laughs> Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, very roll a 1d10 plus 5. Mm -hmm. Big rolls. Yeah. Nice. That's a decent roll. And uh, I'm going to throw a javelin. Uh, the the damage got taken out of your temporary HP, right? So you should be... Oh, yeah, you had 29 temp HP. Or uh, 19, yeah, temp 19, HP. 19 temp HP. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was just minusing off of my my sheet because I added that yeah, to yeah. my sheet, right? My my temp oh, HP, oh, okay. my temp okay. HP is zero. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's it's accurate. It's just I haven't been fucking with it on my actual sheet. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to throw a javelin. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so you throw this javelin and it just flies past her as she's staying completely stationary. Just slowly. And uh, I have about three more, so I'm going Your to... Your arms are just shaking. Yeah, you throw this one and this one uh, goes directly into her shoulder. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's giving me advantage. So 24, 25, yeah, uh, yeah, 24, right. 21. So, so one sink, uh, sinks into her shoulder and she keeps floating forwards. Oh the my fucking God. Into her stomach. Nice. Floating forwards, holding the staff forwards. Good as damage. Two damage. Nice. Not decreased in any way. Sick. Nice. Uh, we come back around to the top of the initiative. Hawk. It's going to keep giving advantage to Bertram is what it's doing. Nice. I'm just going to keep throwing javelins. <laughs> Woo! Uh, you vanish to Bertram. Her turn. So her head tilts slightly. Hmm. You people perplex me. Her, her attention drifts to the right and she starts to float over here bends down picks up the corpse in almost like a hug as if you were to like someone who you were intimate with and then just <laughs> just starts chomping down onto this person anyone who can see her which would be Bertram uh, and Ref right now because there is a fog cloud obscuring everything else um Needs to give me a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. I think oh my Ref God. has disadvantage, doesn't he? Or not Ref, Bertram. Uh, this is not in regards to sanity. Oh, yet. okay, cool. Thank heavens. Okay. Wow, well, that's a first. Bertram, uh, you are feared from this hag. I can't move towards her, fuck. Yeah. Oh, now, both of you, give me a charisma saving throw. Yeah. Uh oh. Why? Why charisma? Why you'll be fine. These? You'll be fine, but <laughs> you'll be fine. Uh, hey, I'm more. Fun. Okay, ref, roll me a d6. Okay. Two. Your sanity goes down to five. Bertram, yeah. roll me a d12. <laughs> Shit. But this is the first time his sanity has decreased. Well, okay, your sanity goes down to nine. Which is still higher than refs and yeah. one less than Jaren's, so you're just a bit shaken by this. Like, okay. well, very shaken, but you know, like, yeah. doing okay. Uh, that is her full action, Bertram, you are feared from her. Jaren. I will. And this corpse has been nom nommed to Oblivion. I cannot select my token. She, she very lightly, like, wipes her face. Uh, okay, you should be able to. I am clicking on it, nothing's happening. You have access to it. Zoom in, and then try and click on it. 
the magic of technology. If it still doesn't oh. work, I'll reload. Yep, I'll reload. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so this, this cop's get eaten. She turns around, just wipes her face. <sighs> Basta. Would anyone else like a bite? Starts floating forwards again. God damn it, why does she fucking... Why does she heal off of corpses? Alright. Um, I will... I did great damage, Michelle. You did. I'm going to move uh, right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I'm going to say... Oh, sorry. Wait, Bertram. This this type of frightened is worse. It makes me run away. Um, I will just post this in chat for you. While frightened, a creature is incapacitated, can't understand what others say, can't read, and speaks only in gibberish. I control your movements, which is which are erratic, and a creature repeats the same throughout the end of each of its turns. So yeah, <laughs> that's bad. Oh no. Yep. Um. Okay. Cool. So he's five feet away. I, I just want to touch him. Can I like jump or something? Yeah. You like hold your fingers out, like trying to find him in the fog cloud. But yeah, you can you can move forwards and oh, oh is he like? Is he out of your range of touch? I just, yeah, I move 30 feet. Is there no way I can touch him? Yeah, then there's no way you can touch him. You can hold action for if he walks past you. Yeah, it's so conditional. Yeah, it's very conditional. So, um, you decide what you want to do. Yeah, we need Bertram for this fight. I'm going to hold my action, and I will cast Protection from Evil and Good if he comes near me. Okay. Farn B is unconscious, so second death save fail. Ref. Yeah. That's a little fucked up there, lady. Um I, I wonder like... why the music keeps pausing. It's weird. Yeah, I I know. That's happening. Is that happening for you guys? Yep. Yeah, a lot. Oh, okay. It's fine for me. Cheers. <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> you guys are gonna fuck them that. <laughs> yeah. Um I can I can try to restart it, but that's annoying because that means our music will be out of sync too, so I'll be listening to different tracks to you. Yep. I'll try. I'll try stopping and starting it. But yeah, you go. You continue, ref. What, what um, you want to do? Would I? Are these like stalagmites coming up from the ground? Uh, these are little barrels. Oh, perfect. Could I come up from prone and then like just get up behind them? Yep. Okay. Uh, might I inhabit this space here? Yep. That's cool. Okay, I'm not going to be doing any more moving. I'm going to be giving up my um my stealth. Mm-hmm. Because she is right where I want her, I am going to be throwing two daggers at her. Yep, yes. make me attack rolls. The first was the one with disadvantage. One we're gonna one. fucking die. Um, one with advantage. One with advantage. One with disadvantage. Yeah. So we're assuming I'm throwing them one in each hand. Yep. Rats. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, advantage sixteen. Uh, sixteen will. Not hit. <laughs> We're gonna die. As the dagger flies forwards, it uh, just deflects off of one of her shoulders as the skin you see it seems to freeze over with a patch of ice, and once the dagger deflects, it seems to just fall back to her normal, like, dark grey. <sighs> the other dagger just fucking fucks right off. Yeah, the other dagger just flies past, missing completely. Um, in the wall at the back. In that case... Two daggers down. I... So you've moved 25 feet. Yeah, I, I cannot move anymore now, and I've given up yeah. my position. I can't really do much else, actually. Um, Goddamn. The only... Oh! I know what I can do. Because um, this is going to be helpful regardless. I am going to action surge. And as I've given up my hiding place, I'm just going to stand to my full height, which isn't terribly tall, and I'm going to cast yeah. a spell on her. Uh, as a bonus? I'm action surging. Oh, oh, right, sorry, yeah, yeah, you go. Yep. It is this spell, Cause Fear. Nice. To say, the DC's um, not hard, but it's a, it's something. Um, she makes me a wisdom save, or she's frightened of me. I'm okay. terrified of what Ruben's gonna sell us. She is immune to it. Yep. Nice! Very sorry. God, yeah, so, no, that's so okay. what does it look like? That works. As you try and like summon the uh, power to use this for the first time. Yeah, no, this this is cool. Um, I yeah, I get out of my hiding place fully and in, in earnest, and I 
I am, like, amidst my encanting, um, I am summoning my blades to my hands, and I probably have this dark energy dripping from my eyes as I just try to terrify her, and she isn't at all. <laughs> yeah, her head slightly t uh, twists towards you as you do this. Hmm. Hmm. I like you. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, you bitch. And Bertram's turn? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to roll a uh, D5. You will move 10 feet in that direction erratically. I will move you. Uh, one. Okay, so one. He hey, moves diagonally him. past Jaren. So what do you want to do? I cast protection cast. from good and evil and good on him. Cool. Yeah, you, you, as he moves past, you just see his arm swishing through the fog. You slam the hammer into it uh, as it starts forming this sort of spectral energy around him. Uh, there should be music. I don't know. There. It's playing for me. Um, Not for any of us. Restart hey. it again, boys. Yeah, he moves past. Can you hear it? Yep. Yep. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you are there, Bertram. Woo! Thanks. Hawk. Yeah, you you have advantage on resisting that effect on your turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, you can resist the effect. So it's another okay. um, it's another wisdom save. Oh my god, dude. I'm so bad at wisdom, though. It got increased by... Yeah, but it's still a minus one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh my god. No! Oh, I tried. Oh, yeah. yeah. I tried, too. Okay. Well, somebody wants to give me their inspiration. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, no one does. Uh, what is the hawk doing, Karen? Hawk's gonna aid Ruff. Okay, aiding Ruff. Yep. Cool. Okay. She is going to slowly float forwards into the fog. Uh oh. Right up to Bertram. Uh -oh. Ooh. And she, as as you're moving away from her, her arm wraps around the front of your head and twists it around till your like very like frightened, shivering form just twists and faces her. Mm -hmm. But he can't see her. Rest now. It's okay. And she leans in and kisses you, and then slowly the kiss turns into her trying to bite your face. Um, this is with advantage because you're technically incapacitated. Uh, so... Cue the crit. Isn't it normal because he gives me advantage on not being hurt? Uh, oh, yeah, from Faye, right? Yeah. Disadvantage on Tavros. Yes, it's a normal D twenty. Nice, thank you. Also, isn't oh wait, can does she have like true vision or some shit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Twelve to hit. No, will not hit me. Yeah. So as she goes to as she goes to like uh, bite down on your face, her teeth impact and hit this helm that just shimmers out of nowhere around your face, like nice. wrapping around. She looks confused for a moment. <sighs> And the helm again materializes. <laughs> and she's just going to push you with one hand uh, and try and slam you uh, into the wall. So this is just with a plus four. Man, she's fucking kinky, dude. Seven. Yeah. And again, her hand just slams into the spectral force. Her head whips around. <sighs> <sighs> I don't like you. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't tell where she's looking, though, Jaren. Yeah. Um, and it's your turn. Yay, me. I'm going to fireball the shit out of her. Okay. Um, I don't know how many turns I'm actually going to get, so I might as well use this thing. Okay, um, so you're using the extra three charges on it? I, I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to hope I okay. can get another round. So six, seven, eight, eight, uh, sorry, ten D6. She gets advantage on the dexterity save. God damn. Ten D6... Okay. She didn't make it. <laughs> didn't make it. Woo! So uh, she takes 37. 37 That's fire damage. Horrible. And it's Half. centered on her, but it will affect none of us. Yep. Half because of something, and then not half because of something else. Oh. <laughs> so this fire erupts from her, and Ref, it's about to hit you in the face, but then seems to part in front of you, just splitting, melting the ice behind you and back into water as the fire begins to settle. You don't feel cold anymore, and she takes a lot of damage. She seems to be breathing heavily. <sighs> I really don't like you. 
Bertram, you're hearing in your head just like, Snap out of it, fool! Um, Farnby is now dead. Ref. No! As Farnby's body... Freezes over. Yep, becomes completely encapsulated and nice. Farnby. He All right, uh, do, do I see this woman, like, eking out of the fog slightly? No. She's okay. she's tall high, not tall, so you can't see her, really. Okay. Um, let's see what I can do. I will... Yeah, I have a pretty good feeling it's... This isn't going to be something where she's leaving anytime soon. So, wait a minute. I know exactly what I'm going to do. It's not going to work out. I can I can just cancel concentration, right? Yep. At any time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I drop a freaking thing because it's okay. not going to help any of us. Good man. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to attack her instead okay. of the bad, stupid thing I was going to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's going to try to grapple her. Yeah, I, okay. I rush. Oh my god. I know. You would have had disadvantage because she's large too. I know, and I'm <laughs> down an arm anyway. Honestly, so, yeah. I've seen some incredible things with grapple. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna run up to her blades and hands, and I'm just gonna start wailing on her. Yeah, her head turned towards your brother, her back turned towards you. You like fly towards her, materializing the blade that your uh, brother originally made for you in your hand. You charge towards her, and and it's you a no. swing. But just as you're about to swing, your ice arm starts to <laughs> ice forming across it again. A uh, twelve try doesn't you, do it though. And again, try and swing, but uh, again, the same thing happens until both your arms like <laughs> frozen in place, and then you Shit. Uh, manage to break it. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, you're not able to get your hits in. That is me. Yep. Uh, Bertram, I'm gonna roll one, two, three, four, five. Uh, D five. Okay, so you move downwards. Uh, she gets attack of opportunity. No, she doesn't. Because <laughs> you're no? just basically... Yeah, you would take up Jaren's space, but basically you're just, like, frightened, moving sideways. You just bump into Jaren. Nice. Because you move 10 feet, so you would just move into Jaren. Okay, so I got a wisdom save? Yep, uh, with advantage at the end of your turn. <laughs> oh, boy. God. Damn it, dude. What a beautiful male. Yeah, oh, nothing. Sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, even with the Hawks advantage, we're still missing. I just check that. Yep. <sighs> she like lowers her head. All right then. She's going to try to make an attack roll with her spellcasting modifier against you, Jaren. As yeah, she blinks her head forward and just tries to grab around your neck. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, it is. I'm just checking. So it's a plus six. So, it does this hit? No! Oh. It does not. Oh. As she tries to grab around your neck, you just move backwards. I really don't like you either. Alright then. Uh -oh. uh, you can act. Jaren. Well. Oh, sorry, I moved twice to ref, so, but Jaren. Wait, my hawk never went. Uh, oh yeah, who's it giving advantage to you, sorry? Me! You? Okay, cool. No, I'm not, no, I don't, I'm not making an attack roll. It'll not you? Me. Okay, cool. Ref or uh, Bertram? Uh, I don't ref because I don't know if Bertram's <laughs> gonna s attack. Yep. yep. Um, ref. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, fireball. Is the music playing at all by then? Yes. Okay, good. I'm, I'm gonna fireball? No worries. Yeah, Thanks. all of it. Yep. All of it? So the last one? Uh, two. You said you were saving one at the end. No, I said I was use. I said I used one, and then I said I was using two. You used one at the start, and then you and then, used yeah, and then three. I, said I, was, I was using two. It's got two more. Okay, so one. Uh, I'll minus four damage from the last one then, because yeah. it should have been ninety-six, not ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then. Okay. So wait, so I'm rolling ninety-six. Uh, no, you're rolling sixty-six. So it's just a fireball now. No, no it's a, yeah, it's it's not just fireball. So it's seven. Nine. Eight is normal, Sorry. but he's using his nine. last two charges. Yeah, it's so nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, last time I thought you used uh, more than you did. So nope. yeah, it's 96 this time. And big numbers. He That's is big. going to cast counter spell, but at third level. So she has to make a roll. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think training? so. Hmm? She oh. does. Hmm. Okay. She has okay. to make a roll because it's the third level. So yeah. It's it's above. Sorry, he's casting it above third level, so he's casting it fourth level. So she okay. has to be a fourteen on this. Good point. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, she has to be a fourteen on this. She nice. is not. So the fireball goes off. Um, you guys, uh, if any of you have seen Disney's Atlantis, the fire explodes, but the shield is protecting you, much like when the lava hits the shield outside the city. But basically, for if you haven't, uh, it basically just looks like the uh, the fire is hitting against glass and just spreading out around you, uh, not actually impacting you. As she takes the... Uh, I need to make the save. Uh, I thought her failing that was her failing everything, but she still has the save. Circle of the Profane, Black Dread. Uh, she has advantage on this, so... 20. She does make it, but she takes 15 fire damage. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> You're done, boy! Ref? <laughs> Ref! <laughs> yeah, Jared just like, Ref! <laughs> Help me, please! Working on it! <sighs> Ref is gonna. Yeah. Ref's gonna do something stupid. Usually. I mean, not. I mean, what? <laughs> Damn. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna take. Um, he's just gonna kind of drop one of. He's gonna drop both his scimitars, and instead he's just gonna pull a dagger out of his belt, free action. And he's gonna use his other arm to just pretty much try to clothesline tackle this woman. Okay, so you're try trying to, to knock up Ren? Shove. I am actually. I I wouldn't be able to. Um, sorry. I wouldn't be able to bring her prone this round if I grappled her this round, this turn, would I? Okay, I would will I? I will let you know that she's flying. This is true. So you can grapple her, but you can't really knock her prone. Yeah. Because she's flying. Nor would I, I know. And I wouldn't be able to <laughs> shove her to the ground either. That wouldn't have much effect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you for reminding me of that, actually. Then yeah. in that case, I'm not going to Because it's not stupid. visible on the map, so it's something like Ref would know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, in that case, yeah, then he'll keep his swords and he will just continue to attack. Okay. Relentlessly. Crit! Nice. That's pretty good. There you go. Yeah, and you, you swing up, making this deep gouging slash across her, bla uh, right. her back as this bluish ichor blood starts dripping down, uh, seeping into her robes as she takes that much damage. Eleven. Nice. And the bad. second one, you try and hit into her, but she just like puts her hand up, not paying attention to you, eyes focused on her brother, and like catches your hand, and then like throws it back uh, away from her. Uh, and she's looking really worse for her. Bertram, uh, I'm going to roll one, two, three, four. D4. Two, so you move diagonally up in this direction, ten feet. So you like move up to this wall, frightened of her. Uh, she is going to make an attack opportunity. She's going to try to bite you. Uh, that will not make it. No. Uh, so she's going to try to bite you. You are so the incapacitated again cancels out the protection from Ganimo. So she's going to bite you for this. Nine. She's rolling bad on all her attack rolls. This is good. So yeah, she tries to like. Bite, but you just like, <gasps> like, like almost like a feral animal frightened of, uh, of like a uh, a violent owner or something. You just like back yeah. away against the wall uh, in fear. Um, as she misses, Hawk is giving advantage to Ref. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. And she is going to look at you, Jaren. Oh, I'm done playing. Nice boy. And she is going to try to do the same thing she did last time. Uh, so the same plus. Yep. Eleven. I'm a shield. Okay. Uh, she's going to try to count spell the shield. Ha! And succeed count spelling the shield. Oh. That's not fun. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, God, wizard battles. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Wizard battles played. Uh, well, I'm out, boys. This is how much necrotic you'll damage you'll take. You're not. 27. Fine. That I'm was dead. a pretty high roll. I'm dead. Is that, is that our right kill? I am dead. 
yeah, so she grabs your neck in hand and just crushes it while oh this my black, God. like this black um frostbite like uh feeling just starts spreading across completely capsulating your head as your eyes just go white as if they've been uh completely frozen over. Your body goes limp as she continues just crushing your neck until her hand is completely clenched in a fist and your head just rolls off your shoulders. Your body shriveled, much like um Finn's wife, uh, when you saw her. And she just lets you go, slowly turns around. I'll do that to you too, even though I like you. And ref. God damn it, dude. Yep. The the moment that she starts to turn around that I see Jaren's form slump over, I... Still of advantage. I know, I heard, yeah. But I, I visibly start to, like, lose it. Mm -hmm. I start just almost gibbering, and my head starts, like, shaking. And the twitching that you saw just a little bit of before at certain points becomes just this... Bravo. No! And I'm just going to lunge at her with all the life that I have left in me. Yeah, yeah, you alive, fire so yourself forwards me. like a like yep. a cannon from your legs, just leaping yep. at her, swinging desperately. Uh, Miss that face. one. Okay, that's yeah, that was with advantage. Second one. No. No. Yeah, I am just recklessly. Yeah, emotional her. rather than yeah. tactful. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I lose all okay. training. Yeah, you just try and swing, and she's just like moving slowly towards you. A couple of your blades actually hit because you're just swinging wildly. They hit with like the hilt instead of the blade. And one time you actually just like knee her in the gut, and it doesn't make the type of impact you'd like. Yeah, so like yeah. It would be on a person. Uh, yeah. Bertram. One, two, three, four, five. And D5. Five. So you're downwards 10 feet. Uh, yeah. Okay. You nice! Yeah, because Jaren's even, dead. Even I'm like, I'm the, like, I better fucking succeed. Jaren died. Even with this, even with this gone, yeah, you you like start walking forwards, frightened of her, and as you out the corner of your eye, you see what's happened to Jaren, and slowly tilt your head, and you just get more idiot, more, and it just starts slowly draining out as you can't hear anything anymore, but this ringing in your ears mm. as your vision goes red, and. That's you. Nice. Uh, her turn, she's going to try and bite down on you, Ref. Come at me, bro. I will cast shield if it would hit me. That would okay. hit me, I cast shield. So Okay, cool. You cast shield, she gonna it defends you, because she's out. Nope. Thank heavens. Okay. She's then going to try to hit you, just like by slamming you in the stomach okay. with her elbow. Alright. Ooh, Next yeah, time. that'll do it. Okay. Holy shit. Hey, yeah, that's a it's lot. good thing I got Relentless Endurance. Yeah. yeah, you're not killed outright, right? I'm not! Uh, well, well, unless that does like 60 29. Damage. No, no, I'm fine. So I think you're okay. I'm okay, one. cool. Yeah, she slams you in the gut, and you get knocked backwards, and you're like... Oh. <laughs> you feel like vomiting, but yep. your eyes just like look up at her. Brother. Yeah. And you just lunge back towards... Um, that's you. Yeah. That's her, sorry. Jaren, can, can I please uh, be taken off of the initiative order? Yes, <laughs> you can. Feel sad every time I see it. Ref, rage. Mm -hmm. Ref uh, is going to do some things, pretty basic, but um, mm -hmm. this is something I, I should have been doing every normal attack that I had, but I'm going to use Booming Blade, my okay. one of my two cantrips. Um, mm -hmm. So this means you can attack once, right? Uh, is... no, I can, I attack twice because I, if I had, like, extra attack, I would have, would only, but uh, since I'm attacking oh, yeah, actually... offhand. Yeah. Okay, okay. This, okay. this oh, will Oh, yeah, only... yeah, because this is your action for the main, oh, you do the attack as part of the action. Yep, okay. yep, yep. Yeah. So, cool, I mean, cool, let's, cool. let's see if, let's see if it means anything, uh, ultimately. Yeah. Let's but, see if you hit. Um, yeah, that's the thing that matters. That okay. is the thing that matters, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so She's yeah. just bleeding from all of her body. She seems to be scorched. She seems extremely upset. I got my this attack. like featureless shadow cast face. And you rolled a twenty-two. Yes. How would you like to do this? Wait, what? She's on two HP. She's been on two HP for a few rounds now. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna. 
come at her like I did before in this just absolutely reckless rage. And I succumbed to her slam a moment ago, but this time, like, I don't let anything stop me. Like, she probably gouges into my body with her, her fists and her, her claws and whatnot, but I just keep coming and coming. And yeah. my last so strike... She... Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Please. Yeah, so she slams you in the gut, you get knocked back, your eyes focus in on her, and you just charge forwards. As you do, you stab her once in the gut, she's like... Ugh! Yeah. And you just feel this icy cold across your back as liquid starts pulling down you. But you're basically like hugging her with your blades at this point. Her fingernails dig into your back with this like harsh, like dagger-like feeling uh, into your shoulder blades as you just stab and rip and tear at flesh until you finally uh, cleave her upper half from her bottom with these all these claw marks of daggers and disgusting things. Her upper half falls down. Her lower half. And she is dead. God damn. Ah, uh, I think. And I'm you're gonna... still just stabbing. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh well, actually, yeah, yeah. After, cool. after so. I've cut her in half, I'm going to just keep like, and I'm gonna just basically ruin her face into nothingness. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm gonna be doing for a yeah. few seconds until I just fall over. Yeah, and basically. you just like. And you just like collapse on top of her. <sighs> yeah. Just... Tears running down your face. Yeah. Angrily. Bertram, you've just sort of like dropped your lance to the ground. Yeah. Standing back here. Your like knees are shaking with fear, exhaustion, guilt, a number of things. Yeah. I just kind of look on at the situation. It's kind of reminiscing on the fact that, like, I, I think I think the major thought that would be going through Bertram's mind is like, even if you were there, their mother would have died. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Just looking at like Jaren's body. Yeah. And would any of you guys like to do anything? I. Uh... After a few moments, after, like, Bertram watches on at the scene unfold, I'm gonna slowly crawl over to my brother. I think my off arm is, like, almost useless to me at this point. Like, I've, I've pretty much worked it to nothing, and all those stitches in the splint that had been set up before is just ripped apart, and the arm is just limp at my side, uh, but I'm hauling myself toward my brother with one arm is weeping mm-hmm. and bleeding and I just kind of drape myself over his body in a prone hug mm-hmm. and I'm just I'm bawling next to him yeah let me get that scene and we slowly start to fade down to white as we move to you and Bertram Exiting the cave, looking up, we see the clouds which were pregnant with just snow and just dark grayness, now just sort of more of a fluffy white, start to split apart, sun shines down as you look across out at the icy river in the forest, and that's where we're going to end the game. Thank you, everybody, for playing Black Rot. Um, that's that's the show, everyone. Rest in peace. I think yeah. I woke my parents up with all the screaming and stuff. And oh. and <laughs> but, um, I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, sorry you died, Jonathan. It was uh, my fault. I uh, There was something I should have done that I didn't, but I think while I am upset, uh, mm-hmm. that was probably an okay way to go okay cool i'm glad yeah plus but, uh mentally i don't know because i don't know uh, uh i don't know what bertram was at but i feel like making that uh thing roll at normal instead of with advantage i don't know 
Oh yeah. That he might have not died because of it. That would have helped a lot. No. Yeah, no, it's just, it's unfortunate that, um, like, literally she wanted wisdom saves because wisdom saves are my worst save. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, is very, they're, yeah, they're very awful. Very big wisdom boy. Yeah, yeah. Because that's why I was worried when I first made Bertram because I was like, oh, fuck. Like, literally what I thought when we, when we first, when I first made Bertram was like, if I fight a hag, I'm probably fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the first thing I thought because uh, I was like, I would use a hag. This seems like the type of campaign that a hag would be a really good. <laughs> God, God Ruben damn loves it. his hags. I do. Yeah. I, I love I love hags too. You both love your fucking hags. Yeah, yeah, I, I love, love my it. hags too. I, I apologize. I I have to leave soon. But it's fine. Yeah. Um, it was. We'll wrap. That was. We'll wrap up the very, vod here. That was a very nice campaign. I, I'm glad. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope all of you guys enjoyed. I hope everybody watching enjoyed. I hope everybody watching the vods, like maybe a year from now or whatever, also enjoyed watching through uh, our, our trials and tribulations in Black Rock. Um, but thank you all for watching. This is where the vod's going to end. Jonathan, you can uh, say see ya. I'm probably going to be off of loading dice for quite some time. While, so yeah, while yeah, this, this is the end. last little bit of this is the last little bit of whiskey and loading dice for a long time. Yeah, no. So yeah, thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed the campaign. And that's where we'll end. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Okay. There's the vodka, guys. There's the vodka. Oh, my God. I'm going to head out.